is intending that your specific person take you out for dinner or call you or take you out for a date, are those intentions really still living in the end? And do they block your manifestation? Well, they, today, that's what we're going to talk about. From createyourfuture.co. So ho, 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 today I'm going to answer a viewer's question about is making smaller intentions and smaller goals like intending going on a date with your SP, messing with the middle and also not living from the end. So I'm going to answer that question and explain the answer in great detail. But just before I do, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe. Hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday each one of them designed to help you create something wonderful in your life and as well there is a great team of coaches here that want to help you they want you to be successful so definitely check out the link in the description below for the coaching so does making intentions about them texting you and going out for dinner with you mess with the middle and block your manifestation for getting married absolutely not Okay. And I'll explain why. Okay. Because if we're living from the end, okay, and we want to live from the end, what living from the end is basically having all your actions, thoughts, and beliefs about the other person to be in line with your end goal. Okay. So let's take Jerry, for example, if I was married to Jerry, what would my thoughts be? My thoughts would be that he wants to be with me, that he loves hanging out with me, that he's very kind and all those other things, okay? What would our actions be? Like, what would our life look like? Well, I mean, he would have dinner with me every night. Um, you know, he would, um, you know, like call me when he's at work, you know, to see how my day is going. Um, he would bring flowers home for me. Um, yeah, he would like just do little things. He'd surprise me and take me for a dinner and a movie. He would watch TV with me every night, you know, and cuddle and do all these fun things, okay? So that's what living from the end is, okay? Is creating your thoughts and creating your intentions around what your life is going to look like when you are married, okay? So now people say, I've heard people say that they say, well, if you manifest, you know, dinner, you know, a date, then you're going to block your manifestation for marriage. Well, that's not true, okay? Because my my end goal was living with my specific person, Andrew, and we lived together. And in fact, he's planned a date night for a dinner and a movie for like a couple of weeks from now. Okay, well, that doesn't block my manifestation. That's part of what our relationship is, okay? So back when I first met him three years ago, I intended we would have dinner together every night because when we lived together, which was my end goal, I intended we would have dinner together every single night. Now, granted, the dinner together happened before we actually moved in together every single night, and I loved every second of it, you know, but that didn't block us moving in together. Th that was part of it, okay? So, you know, for instance, we live together now, and I was just out and about earlier today, and Andrew texted me and asked me how my day was going because he's at work. So, in, in, in manifesting text messages, manifesting dinner, manifesting little dates, manifesting watching TV with them every night, manifesting them sleeping over at your house, that is all living in the end of being married or living in the end of being in a relationship because those are the things that you'll do in a relationship, okay? So those things don't mess with it. They strengthen it, okay? So sit down right now and start writing out what does your marriage look like? Do you guys hang out together? Do you go to the park together? Do you go for walks every day together? Do you go to the gym together? Are you going to go see movies together? Are you going to watch TV together? Are you going to eat dinner together? Great. Start intending that you're doing those things now, okay? Are they going to care about you and call you all day long to make sure that you're happy and you're having a good day? Yes, start intending that now, okay? Now, none of this will block it. None of it will because you're actually living from the end and intending everything that you'll have once you guys are married, okay, or whatever your end goal is. Now, the reason why 
this has to be done this way is because many people have many different impressions and, you know, ideas of what marriage is. It isn't just enough to say we're married. Okay. Because I mean, what does the marriage look like? Does he go out every night with his friends, at the pub and never spend time with you? Or does he spend time with you and eat dinner with you and watch TV with you every single night? You know, does he work on his business 12 hours a day and ignore you? Or does he only work eight hours a day on his business and then spend the rest of the evening paying attention? attention to you. What in detail does your marriage look like? Okay. And start intending that now. Does he make time for you? Does he make you a priority? You know, how are you going to feel? What are you going to see? What are you guys going to do? What are your thoughts going to be when you're married? Okay. These are all the thoughts and actions and intentions that you want to start creating now. What is Jerry going to think about me when we're married? <laughs> start creating that now as well. Okay. So, yeah, the more clear picture that you make about what you're going to be thinking when you're married, what he's going to be thinking or she's going to be thinking when you're married, and what you guys are going to do together when you're married and what your marriage is going to look like, the faster it's going to come, okay? And, you know, and the thing is, right, is, you know, manifesting a date is is part of manifesting marriage. It's part of it, you know? Like I said, you know, me and Andrew where we're, I've got my end results and we're actually going out for dinner in a movie because I want to go out for dinner and see a really cool movie. So, I mean, that's part of our relationship. And, and I did, you know, I manifested every inch, any, every detail of our relationship. And our relationship is amazing because not one detail got overlooked by me. And I'm incredibly happy. And in fact, if you guys want to see how well it worked, take a look down in the description under Jerry's Adventures. That channel is actually me and Andrew and our relationship and we share it for you guys. <laughs> you can see what I have to put up with with that guy, okay? <laughs> but with that, I manifested every text message, every dinner, every phone call, everything, every last little thing, all the way up until what my end result was, which was living together in a committed relationship. So, you know, yeah. Throw everything that you have on it. The more intentions you put towards your marriage, the more you create with your self-talk what your marriage is going to be. The more you start thinking like the person wants to be with you and marry you, the quicker it's going to happen. Okay? Anyways, that's my video for today. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are all amazing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.